YouTube, what is up? It is NYKF31. Back doing what I do. Playing the games and yapping away. <sighs> last video I did was not fun. I did not enjoy that last video. It was not something that I like to do. It was a one-time thing. I'll never do anything like that ever again. But, you know, what can you do? Some people like to throw challenges out there and say things like, if you think that we're wrong, you know, show the proof. Show the video. Well, I had video, and... <laughs> The video showed what it showed. It was not manipulated. It was not scripted. It was not uh, set up. And, well, it spoke for itself. So there you go. So that's the last time I'm going to bring up All Pro Football 2K8. All Pro Football 2K8, it had its day, but its day has come and gone. And that's fine, you know? But the game is... You know, past its prime. It's a dead game in many ways. It's an obsolete game. So, they'll go and from the 28 yard if line. someone wants to continue to play it and Has a man short to his left. try to keep that game alive, you know, so be it. Have a good time. But I've decided that I'm going to live in the present. And I'm going to continue to play and enjoy the heck out of NCAA 12 well, decision, and from the looks of things I'll be enjoying the heck out of Madden 12 as well and so you know, know what more can you want two very good games to have so fun with you know this football season here. and you know playing Madden 11 after playing NCAA 12 for these past couple of weeks, the game has been out. Touchdown, Colts. I just don't get how some people can come to the conclusion that it's just the same old game, no changes, and say things They'll like this drive. That the, the game up. didn't improve, all they did to zone coverage was uh, speed up the sliding, uh, right. jack Little up the sliders. So coverage is a mirage, blah, 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 down. blah, 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 so on and so forth. If you play Madden 11 after having played NCAA 12, the differences, you know, couldn't be, you know, more obvious. Gets but if you choose to refuse to see them, then, the you know, that's your problem. I was thinking of doing a video showing the differences in, you know, route recognition, play recognition, and, you know, overall better awareness, more realistic awareness in zone coverage between NCAA 12 and Madden 11, but I figured what's the point? The people that already have their minds made up aren't going to change no matter what you show them, so it'd be a waste of time. Second down now, following the incomplete. I know what I see and I know what I play, and... To me, there's just no question as to the fact that EA made a substantial and long-awaited improvement in that area. When I play Man 11 here, you know, you guys know that I play, you know, a 4-3 Tampa 2 style, and I can do it pretty well for the most part, but playing Man 11 after playing NCAA 12, you know, the differences between you know, how much space I have to cover because the gaps in these zones so are so large is really amazing. You know, I feel like I have to cover so much ground just to keep everything together. When in NCAA 12, I just feel like I can just pretty much do my job, play my assignment, and trust my teammates to be much more able away. to, you know, hold their own. You know, we can only control Jake one guy at a time, so, so hard sometimes. I'm amazed the if can I can't trust it. the AI to hold up, what's the point the of you know playing the game? So that's my take on that. Now, as far as with it. the Madden Touchdown. 12 demo, what do you guys think? 
for the most part, I agree with um, most of the observations out there, especially regarding the fact that the first thing that you know came to my mind was well, NCAA 12. It felt like a more refined, you know, version of that game. Even though we're playing, you know, a rough, older build of what would be the final retail version of Madden uh, 12. And, you know, even people that have been longtime critics of the uh, Madden series have come have agreed with that and have, and have noticed that. And that's nothing, that's nothing but a good thing to me. You know, I think NCAA 12 is by far the best playing game we've seen He's to date. Out. And if Madden 12 you know, has, has that same kind of feel in the demo, that, and he then every you know, that tells me we're going to be run. in for a you know, very good game when the retail version drops. Still and again, some people like hand. to say you know, it's nonsense good such as the demo the and the final build, you know, won't be very different. They'll be pretty much the same. And if you don't know better than that by now, I don't really know what, what to tell you. We all know that demo builds are not going to have, you know, all the bells and whistles that the retail product is going to have. The same thing was true and said about NCAA 12 and that demo. And the problems and the rough edges that were in that demo when the retail version dropped. The retail version had most of those issues fixed. So, again, if people want to continue to fight that fight, you know, so be it. But the one thing that I did notice that has to be fixed is that the manual QB drop. If you break the auto drop or manually control the QB to snap the ball. The drop back is way, 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 way too fast. Too, too fast. That has to be patched ASAP, as in day one. You know, the retail version cannot have that stand. That's going to be an utter circus online. I mean, that quarterback That's just zooms once you take control of him and try to manually drop back or, and move him around. It's just way, way too quick. But, you know, other than that, I didn't see, you know, much in the way of anything alarming. You know, no game's going to be perfect, and of course, there are going to be those who will... You know, do their thing as far as breaking down slow motion replay and uh, looking for flaws. And, you know, it's a pass. if you do that with any game, you can find what you're looking for flaw-wise. But as far as anything that could be major and game-breaking, I just don't see it there. So, I'll be curious to hear or read what you guys think. Um... Some of you message me occasionally about online and leagues and getting into the online so uh, leagues that, that I play. I don't actually run any of the online Man. leagues that I participate 21. in. Um, I'm in two online dynasties in NCAA 12. I just finished an online dynasty game, actually, which I'm going to uh, post in the next couple of days. And I'm in two, or I'm going to be in two online franchises in Madden. And the leagues that I'm in are either Another on the NCAAStrategies.com forums or the OperationSports.com forums. And I'm sure you know most of you are already familiar with Operation Sports. Um, if you go to their website and go to the um, OS Users link in NCAA 12, I'm in the OS Elite Hands the back. Pac-12. Big Ten Online Dynasty for NCAA, and I'll be in the OS Vets and the PSL Online Franchises for Madden. So, if you want to sign up for those leagues, there's still some openings, and you're, you know, more than welcome to do so. It's a good group of guys. If you want to look for a league that stays active, has good, mature, sim-style players that don't cheese, you know, are skilled, and 
like to have, you know, fun with the game, then, in my opinion, there's no better two sites to go to. It's a good group of guys, and we all have fun. We play sim, and there's very little drama. <laughs> so, you know, I'll be willing to vouch for people if they want to sign up, and... You know, look forward to uh, playing some of y'all out there. So Cutler, that's it, it for me ahead. for now. I got a couple more videos in the pipeline. I have the um, online the dynasty game that I had just finished. I have one more 335 stack video to crank out, and I've been labbing my um, custom Tampa 2 playbook for NCAA 12, and so far so good. It's not quite where I want it to be, but it's getting there. And when I have that done, I will slap that on here and do a video on that also. So, until then, hope all you guys are doing well, and I'll talk to you all later. Take care. Peace. in that situation? Unbelievable. And he's tackled at the 40. That's all from Lucas Oil Stadium. Highlights are next, so stay right with us.